Hello and welcome to my 14th video of my Name for Beginners tutorial series, Tuples. Tuples are known as structures in other programming languages, which are similar to arrays. They are of fixed size, therefore their size must be known at compile time. But their values can be of different types, unlike arrays and sequences, which means you can have a tuple of integers, strings, floats, etc. all mixed. Unlike arrays and sequences, their usage is quite different. Tuples are used for when you want to create a custom data type which can then be stored inside variables, arrays, sequences, etc. Here I have the simplest tuple. Tuples use normal parentheses for initialization. And this one holds four values of different types. Now let's run this. It has four different types. Now this tuple can be used for variable declarations like this. Variable copy tuple as some tuple. This one will work can only initialize it, give it the same value as some tuple, because this tuple only holds values. It's not, it doesn't have named fields. It needs to have named fields if you want to, to use it as a type, a custom type. You can also declare and initialize a tuple like this. Variable anon tuple as in parentheses, String integer types elements of it, its types inside of it, and value some value like John of 22. This and the above code is called an anonymous tuple, as their fields, as in elements, do not have a name. So when displaying them, all you will see are values. Let's echo this one as well. Echo anon tuple. Again, they do not have field names, they only have values. Now to create a non-anonymous tuple, as in its fields are named, you do this like this. Variable named tuple as tuple keyword, and then you name, give it named fields in square brackets. It's like name as string, age as integer, and then you give it initialization values like Adam and 25. Now let's echo this and run it to see the difference. Here we go. This tuple now has its fields named as in name of Adam age of 25. These two only have values. Having tuples with named fields is useful because you can do this named tuple dot name is some other name like Peter and named tuple that age is 10. Now let's echo this echo named tuple again. Now let's see the difference. Its name is now Peter and age is now 10. You cannot do this with anonymous tuples. So if I were to try to do this like some tuple dot it's only giving me iterators this can't work this won't work you can however change them in the way we have initialized them at the beginning by assigning them a new value like this anon tuple is george 50. now to declare an empty tuple that can be used for making new tuples with the same structure all you have to do is remove the initialization part from name tuple. Now let's copy and paste this one. Name tuple. Let's call it empty tuple and remove its initialization. Now let's echo it. Echo empty tuple. Run this. And here it is empty, as an empty string and empty integer of zero. You can also do this in a more elegant way by using a type section like this. Type keyword followed by the name of the tuple, for example, custom tuple, assign it value of tuple keyword, and then indent it to spaces, its first field name, name as string, followed by age as integer. This is exactly the same as this one just more elegant. Now let's make a new variable of type custom tuple like this variable a tuple 
as custom tuple of value in parentheses custom 60. And now let's echo this a tuple. Here we go. Name is custom, age is 60. You could also name the fields you are initializing like this. Let's copy this this one and name it another tuple and then you give it the name of the field the first one name and here age this works exactly the same let's echo it to prove it another tuple here we go exactly the same now let's make an array of type custom tuple with two such tuples like this variable tuple array as array keyword square brackets size 2 of custom tuple type now let's fill up these two empty elements like this tuple array array index 0 assign let's copy paste this one name as Adam of 20, copy this line again, change this index to 1, Eve as 25, and let's echo this whole array, tuple array. Here we go. This is an array of type custom tuple. We could also output each element with a for loop like this for e in tuple array echo e now let's run this here we go both of these elements of type custom tuple displayed in each line now let's also make a sequence of type custom tuple so variable tuple sec and sec keyword square brackets and then no size because it's a sequence so type custom tuple now let's add elements to it like this using the add procedure uh, tuple sequence dot add in parentheses just copy paste some values change them a bit to 80 let's add another one and Evelyn of 20 well let's echo this sequence tuple sec and run this here we go with the at sign it shows us that, it, that it's a sequence and it has two elements each of type custom tuple okay that's it for this video thanks for watching like and subscribe if you liked it if you had any problems with any part of the video let me know in the comment section the code for this video is in the link in the description have fun